back to Hale's world and I have 15 Instagram reels, tips, tricks, and hacks you must know, like green screen effects, stop motion, adding captions, slow motion, and I mean, some of these will blow your mind for reels. Let's get into it. So right off the bat, this is a really cool feature from Instagram and basically if you start a new reel and open up the gallery, what you can do is select some pictures or videos. So I had these ones from a Samsung event and what you do is select your favorite ones, then click on that little next button and now you will see this screen where Instagram actually suggests an edit for you. So you can choose from one of these songs at the bottom, which by the way are all the most popular songs at the moment, but what's so cool is once you've chosen your favorite song and click next. As you can see, Instagram has automatically edited your videos in time with the song you chose. So it has chosen specific moments from your videos and even cut them to the timing of the song to make an epic quick reel. Now I know this has happened to so many of you where you're scrolling through reels, checking them out, and all of a sudden you find a reel with great audio that you want to use. Well, in the bottom left hand corner you'll see the audio's title, and if you click on it, it takes you to the song's main page where you can save the audio. So next time you go to create a reel and click on the audio icon, right at the top you will see the saved button, and if you tap on that, the bam, all your previously saved songs are right in there, and you can just go ahead, select whichever one you want, and start creating. And believe it or not, tons of people watch reels without any audio, so adding captions can up those views. And if you don't have the built-in captions feature yet, then here is a really easy way to do it right in the reels editor. So usually what you'll do is click on the text icon so you can start typing out what it is you just said. But that can be very time consuming. So on an iPhone and even Android phones, you'll notice this little mic icon. And if you tap on that, that is literally speech to text. So all you need to do is repeat what you just said in your video and like that, the text magically appears and takes so much less time than if you had to type it out word for word. What you can then do is place the caption in the right spot and even adjust the time by clicking on that bar and shifting the timeline until you are finished that sentence. You can then go ahead, repeat this step and I promise you it's actually really quick. So next time you want to add captions, don't forget this trick. Then you might already know that you can do voiceovers in Instagram Reels, but let me show you some tips. Once you click the play button on your Reel, you can actually Actually click hold down and record your voiceover then let go and record in various sections just like this. You can then actually scrub through the timeline and re-record over something just by clicking and holding again. Then if you click that back button it allows you to delete the previous voice recording without deleting everything. And if you're a one take kind of person you can just play the reel, click the record button and do your entire recording in one go. <laughs> Now I'm pretty sure you've wondered how some people perfectly time their lip syncing or like dance moves and here is exactly how they do it. So once you open up Instagram and start a new reel, what you're gonna do is click on the music icon and select the track you wanna lip sync or dance to. Once you've found the track, then what you do is click on the speed icon. And here's the important thing, you're gonna wanna select the three times speed. This actually slows down the song and from there you can just add a filter, start a timer for three seconds or 10 seconds, and then it's time to make magic. So you get into place, click the record button, and as the song starts playing, Remember, it is three times slower, so you can talk, sing, or dance perfectly on time with every beat, and here's what the final result looks like. Listen to me now. Okay, we all know that the toolbar is on the left hand side of Instagram Reels, but if you click on the settings icon, you can actually change it to the right hand side. I personally much prefer this because it is so much easier toggling through all the different features just using my thumb. Then if you're like me, you've probably seen this touch up icon, but had no idea what it was actually for. Well, if you select it, it's a smoothing filter. So every time you toggle it on, it'll smooth out your skin and you can even adjust the strength by clicking and holding down. And by the way, if you enjoyed this video, then hit that subscribe button because we're on the road to 1 million. And if you subbed, I mean, that would, I would just. I love you. I love you. I love you.
Now, here's a feature I see tons of people using, and that is the green screen effect. So if you select that button, you can then choose any picture or video as your background, but most of the time you are so big within the frame that you cannot actually see what is behind you. So you can actually downscale yourself. Just like this, move yourself to anywhere on the screen and make it so much easier to see what is going on in the background. As you can see, you can get really creative and place yourself just about anywhere. Another really cool feature within Reels is if you've taken any landscape videos or pictures, you can go ahead and select them. And once you click next, you'll notice this little scale icon to the right hand side. And if you click on it, as you can see, it'll automatically scale your landscape video into portraits in a couple of seconds. It'll also work on pictures. So if you happen to have any landscape ones, do not fear because you can instantly and automatically scale them and even adjust things further by using two fingers. Now, believe it or not, for the longest time, you have not been able to add images to reels but that's all changed and you can make some really cool videos using just pictures so once again within instagram if you head on over and create a brand new reel then click on the gallery icon here of course you'll see all your pictures within your gallery then what you can do is select this little tile icon in the top right hand corner and start selecting up to 10 different pictures so i just took these little stop motion ones then click next and now all you're going to do is scale down the timing just like like this to each and every picture. Believe it or not, this only takes a couple of seconds and once that is done, go ahead, click next, then the preview button, and now you'll see a perfect little stop motion video that you just created using only pictures. You can of course further edit things and add text, but this is pretty nifty. So if you've been playing around with Instagram Reels by now, you probably know how the timing and layers and all of that work, but did you know you can do that with GIFs too? It's so simple, all you do is click on the stickers icon, then GIFs, and did you know, if you search Hales World, all my stickers will appear, and these ones I personally handmade for you guys. So from there, go ahead, select your favorite GIF, I'm just using this hotkey, now place it wherever it is you'd like, and over here, you'll see this little GIF button. If you tap on that, you'll now see the GIF's timeline and you can adjust when you want this GIF to appear and disappear. You can then go ahead and of course add multiple GIFs and just repeat this process until you are completely happy with all your GIFs placements. Then finally, when you go back to watch the finished reel, you'll see your perfectly placed GIFy stickers. While editing your reel, if you click on that little music icon, you can actually adjust the audio levels between your backing track and the camera's audio. So if you want the audio from your original video to come through, simply lift the camera's audio, drop your backing track, and like that, you've got a perfectly good mix. And while you're at it, you can still do voiceovers just by clicking the mic icon, tapping that record button, and recording your entire voiceover with a surprisingly good end mix. Then here's a really nifty trick that you might not have known about drafts, and that is when you go ahead and select one of your drafted reels, like this one for example, you can click the edit button and of course still edit text as well as filters and other things, but if you click that little camera icon in the top left hand corner, it takes you right back to the beginning edit where you can adjust the speed, audio, and even edit the various video clips. So if there's something you're not completely happy with, you can select it, then click on that little scissors icon, trim the video down to the exact right length and continue doing that with other clips if you want until you are completely happy and ready to go. So now you can go back into your drafts and adjust them until they are just right. On to some super cool quick tips. And when you're in the share section of Reels, if you go ahead and click on cover, you can of course choose any one of these thumbnails as your cover picture. But did you know if you click on crop profile image, you can adjust this thumbnail any which way you like by scaling it up, moving it around and picking the perfect spot. You can also do this just by choosing a picture from your gallery, clicking on crop profile image and again scaling things until you are super happy with the look. Now, downloading and sharing any Instagram reel with your friends or family is not exactly the easiest. I do think Instagram is working on this, but for now, here is how you download any reel and save it to your gallery. So while scrolling through all the various reels, when you come across the reel you want to download, 
click that little aeroplane icon and share this to your story. Then within the stories editor, upscale the reel, click the download button, and like that, this reel is saved in your photo gallery and you can share it from there with your friends and family. Just keep in mind the reel does have to be 15 seconds or shorter in order to do this. Then I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I have a bunch of unfinished or unwanted drafts and to delete them all in one go, you just click that select button, select which drafts you of course want to delete and then click discard and in seconds all those drafts are gone and you no longer have a bunch of videos cluttering up things. Did you know you can now remix Instagram Reels? TikTok has had this feature for ages but Instagram being the smarty pants that they are finally has it. So if you're scrolling through Instagram and find a reel you wanna remix or react to, go ahead, click those three dots and right over here you will see remix this reel. Then on the left hand side you'll have the original reel and on the right hand side your camera will be open and recording you where you can then comment, sing, dance or react to the original reel just like I'm doing. Once that's done, you can also still add text. So I'm just saying wow, for example, you can place it above the videos where there's a bunch of space and you can also add music, effects, and so much more. So this is great if you wanna create some quick content or catch the attention of some other creators. So guys, let me know down in the comments which was your favorite Instagram reel, tip, trick, or hack, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. But if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe, or you can check out some of my other videos right over here. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Toodles!